From Lucian of Samosa to second century space satire to today's lab benches, one audacious question persists. Did life on Earth come from elsewhere? Panspermia posits three main routes. One, directed panspermia, advanced aliens deliberately seeding life. Two, accidental transfer of hardy microbes on space debris. Or three, delivery of life's precursors, amino acids, that later assembled here. Imperial College's Robert Andres modeled abiogenesis and found it implausibly fast under entropy and molecular decay. The pieces must meet at the right place, time, and concentrations before falling apart. He doesn't rule abiogenesis out, but frames panspermia as a speculative but logically open alternative. While noting it violates Occam's razor, critics abound. SETI researcher Simon George calls deliberate seeding beautiful science fiction, but unlikely, favoring life emerging under early Earth conditions, perhaps with a chemical boost. Complementary work in science advances argues Earth's habitability likely hinged on a late, chance Theia impact that delivered water and key elements. No aliens required. A core objection remains. Panspermia relocates, rather than solves, life's origin. It also complicates biosignature hunts. Earth could seed other worlds, muddying provenance. If we do find life nearby, untangling whether it shares ancestry with us or reflects independent genesis may be the next great puzzle.